Daddy-o, everyone. Lost leader year. Going to wake up at 7. Because Nintendo doesn't know or understand that people like sleeping. No. They just are like, you like game? We'll make direct. And I'm like, okay, cool. And they're like, make direct at 7? I'm like, no. Please don't. I know in East, uh, on the East Coast, it's like 10 a.m., but for us, over in Pacific Time, it's 7 a.m. That, that, that's a hard way to wake up for me. I don't like to wake up that early. But I do hope a lot for the Splatoon uh, 2 Direct. I don't know what I really want out of it. I know I want more single player. I want more local options. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm not sure we're going to really get here, though, because Nintendo's Nintendo, and frankly, they have a history of surprising you, even with you coming in with full expectations. <clears throat> I kind of hope they, they throw some other uh, news in. Like we get like Bayonetta or something. Or like we get like more DLC costumes. That would be pretty cool. Or like a Mi more Amiibo support. Um, but aside from that. Here we go. Why is there no sound? Why is there no bloody sound at all? Just a quick heads up, everybody. Um, I literally had to wait until the direct was over to make sure I got the audio quality. Uh, well, not the audio, the audio itself. And um, so we're here now waiting for uh, the Splatoon uh, direct because it started out oh, on me. Hi there. We of the Squid Research Lab have returned to present our latest findings. So buckle up and keep your tentacles inside the vehicle at all times. I guess I will. It's been two years since that fateful day when the inkling squid species hooked me with its amazing abilities. It, just, it looks so damn to pretty. To shoot ink in humanoid form and to swim through ink in squid form. The game is just way too pretty for what it is. Deaths, a radical squid culture has emerged. Inklings have developed a taste for combat and competition, not to mention fashion. The ceremonial turf war is one such sport, in which two squid squads of four face off to see which team can cover the most turf with ink. This popular tradition isn't going anywhere, which remains as popular as ranked battle, where the very best teams and players compete online to achieve a higher rank and ultimate bragging rights. Here in Inkopolis Square, Inklings prepare for ritualistic face flatting by equipping gear and weaponry. Yep, this is but a new place. it's not all doom and gloom. All squid gear is designed for both function and fashion. I just really love that custom hair fact, option. Everything about Inkopolis it's gonna be so tight. its reputation as the foremost happening place in the world. As you can see here, communal aspects of Inkling society are greatly valued. But so is individual expression. Nice shoes. Mm. Like other cephalopods, Inklings can even choose their skin and eye color. But unlike regular squids, they have custom hairstyles and legwear too. You only get like four? And only like there three legwear? The shoes the squids are wearing Aww. is actually called gear. I was and hoping there'd be like a little bit more, you know? Too. Oh, dude, you can wear a watch! Both looking That's going to be me. I love wearing watches. Fashionable. Let's take a look at some gear. They're all cuties, like legit. Like, oh my god. It takes more than style to win a turf war. Luckily, the Galleria, over on the left, houses a row of popular gear and weapon shops. Each item you acquire here has one or more abilities that should prove effective in battle. So, let's take a look inside, shall we? So it's just the same old, like, like original Splatoon where you just get gear. This is the head All right, shop. stuff. Headspace. Oh my god. Got She's so cute! Board. So does Flo. I don't That's think exactly. was she in the first the one? Because she's so freaking cute. Look at her. The her name's Flo too. Look at the little shrimp. I'm just, just look at that. Think of her as their crazy old aunt. Oh my God. The old cloth shop is a clothing boutique run by a jellyfish named Jelfonzo. I think Joe Fonzo wasn't in the other one either. He just kind of looks the same. Not to be racist against jellyfish, but I mean, come on. By reading ancient inkling literature. His strange manner of speaking aside, the young squids of Inkopolis are crazy about his wares. Yeah, it's pretty much the same old thing. Yep, these people are new. 
They have all kinds I don't of like him. I like the crawfish more. You name it. Oh, he's a spider crab. That's why I don't like him. And might I you all seen spider crabs. The least crabby spider crab I've ever met. They're terrifying. He's got like extremely. And he's a pretty chill guy to, uh, well, to boot. He'd be as chill as he wants. He still looks like really Last scary. But not least, let's hit up the weapon shop. Am like I how that? Sheldon's still the same. You may recognize like straight the up. crab who runs the place. Sheldon has a gift for weapon design. And his uncanny ability to blather on about ink weaponry is second to none. And he also seems to have monopoly. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why didn't no if one stop only him? You could tune out his weapon dissertations with the press of a button. Well, now you can. Yes! Sheldon's the best update it. of I all Splatoon. Like, no lie. Having to listen to that guy ramble on and on is, like, literally the worst. He just keeps talking and talking and just like, please. Come in sets of three. Just want my weapon. A main weapon, a sub weapon, and a special weapon. I'm getting funky with this music. Like, the music is already funky, like, just legit. I'll dance it. Your standard shooters are great for both sliding opponents and inking turf. There are many different types of shooters to choose from. Rollers are adept at inking turf quickly and devastating at close range. They can steamroll opponents while rolling along the ground, or they can fling a wall of ink to keep opponents at bay. Chargers are long range weapons well that's, suited for that's sniping my girl. distant foes. That is my girl right there. Charger is my girl. Rush down, Charger, all the way, baby! Honestly, I don't think so. I think they're one of the best weapons, honestly. They're slow, though, and the long charging time leaves you vulnerable. Sloshers may be a rather unconventional weapon type. Sloshers are also no awesome. With a full bucket of ink to the face. Because vertical Blast is like all about Splatoon, like legit. On impact or in mid -air. It's great for spotting opponents hiding behind. Honestly, it feels like this is a direct for people that have not played the original Splatoon. Each and they need to like learn. Because I already know all this so stuff. The majority of Splatoon people don't know this stuff. So I'm just kind of like a bit confused. Splatoon 2. Some of the weapons have extra functionality that was not present in the first game. Like store charge is awesome. You keep your charge while swimming around in ink. That is awesome. That's going to come way handy. To increase your range. And the new dualies let you dodge roll. As you can see, some weapons That is have really cool. Interesting maneuvers. The dodge roll is just really cool to see. But what good is R&D without the Ooh. development parts? Introducing the Clash Blaster. Ooh. That's a new thing. But its high firing rate and explosive tendencies keep the enemy at bay. It's gonna be really annoying. Introducing the Flingza Roller. Flingza Roller? Its horizontal swings are fast, and though <coughs> its vertical swings take longer, they fling ink further too. Believe it or not, the roller changes shape depending on how so you So it's, it's, it's like a freaking charger or something in roller form. Shape shifting has a special significance to infants. Introducing the GoTuber. What? This one is so I could be a GooTuber? He holds a charge for an extremely long time. What? And as a result, you can move to a better location while powered up and unleash a mighty sneak attack. Ka chow Whoa! Introducing Not nice. The oh, they're just different vari weapon variations. I'm getting like all hype for like new weapons, but... He's still cool. No, oh, dude! That was... That was sauce! Oh my god! Just but popped out of the wall like the Matrix! In addition to spreading ink and attacking, okay. sub weapons provide well, other sprinklers to help with both defense and reconnaissance. Some are really making waves with ink links. For instance, the auto bomb locates and hunts down. Oh dear lord! That's scary. I I'm gonna panic so much from that. The I'm gonna tell you right now. Can be thrown in this, surrounding them in a harmful gas. And that's just the beginning. New uh -oh. sub weapons are currently in development. A plethora of unexpected tactics are possible when you mix and match your weapon combinations. So try them out. I just, I just want my sprinkler back. Because sprinkler was my jam. Ah, now I don't see a sprinkler. Special weapon. I miss my sprinkler. All new, I do mean all of them are new. As veterans know, you have to cover turf to fill up your gauge or no special weapon for you. True. Additionally, when another player's special gauge is full, their UI icon will glow. Oh, nice! Some more information on which to act. So now we know it. It's, it's, it's actually really cool. 
Oh! Penta missiles lock onto enemies and fire multiple projectiles. I never seen that little like UI thing, so I didn't know that was a thing. The ink jet enables you to fly through the air and launch explosive blobs of ink at the enemy team. The stingray fires high pressure ink. I hate the stingray. Shoot through walls. What? I never knew you could shoot through walls. Disappear or fly. That's the one I want because I'm a rushdown charger. And it just, it would work so well for me. Ink Storm, uh, Ink Storm is always making it rain. Ink. I can see the Ink Storm being a problem. Allows you to launch a barrage of bombs onto the battlefield. Oh, even has a little thing now. Instead of just like straight up, like you could launch a punch. So there's more visual appeal too to the, to the specials. All your allies for a set period of time. Ooh. Completely negating the damage from a single attack, no matter how strong. That's really and cool. Finally, the baller. Bowling. Explosive hamster ball. It will roll you Dude. You want, even up walls. I kind of want Just that one too. The possibilities afforded by each of these oh, I'll have to figure out which one I want. So far, we've examined ancient gear. Oh, look at that hair. That's a cute hair. This is inherent to each of them. It's important to choose the right ones to take into battle for the stage. And oh, what? We could just it. We could just assign it. Speaking of modes. So we could just assign it. That'd be awesome. Turf War is just that. A battle for territory. No matter how many times you get splashed. If you eat the most turf, victory is yours. Too much. It really pays to cover up in a year. I think that Turf War is like so basic in comparison to the rest of the modes. But it's still fun. It's just like this weird sort of like once you played enough of it, you're like, I gotta play something else. City streets. A sports club. Ooh. An academy. Oh nice. Oh dude, there's a butt. A concert. A racetrack. Oh and wow. So Catch my drift? I certainly hope so. Oh wow, because look at that. These stages are riddled with hazards, such as this shipyard. Oh no! Killed them like the Matrix. Either use them to your advantage or get splatted. Oh dude! It's your move. Also, I'm very glad this thing is back because uh, hey yo, Chargers like a place to go. In addition to turf war, serious squids require the thrills of ranked battles. Oh, dude, that music! There are three modes that rotate every two hours. I do like these modes. Each of these modes are really awesome. Splat zone. In all honesty, Fight for but splat zone stresses splat me out. Place on the stage. It stresses the me out. The maintains control of the longest reign supreme. Tower control. Fight for control of a tower that moves on rails when you're standing on it. Tower control is pretty freaking hype, dude. Ride it all the way to the goal in the other team's area to win. The tower will stop at key checkpoints, resulting in fierce battles for possession. I am glad they did the checkpoints because legit, I've had it to where people just like Rainmaker. Just like take it away. The team that carries the Rainmaker to the goal in the other team's area will be declared the winner. I am sad what they did with the Rainmaker change the though. They can fire powerful turn shots. Pushing your team forward while protecting the Rainmaker is the key to victory. Because now it doesn't create a pathway. So it's kind of like, oh no, I have to actually think about it. Instead of just rushing in, like usual. So you, you no longer can you carry people in Rainmaker. You gotta actually be a good team member. This will result in being matched with players of a similar skill level in future ranked battles. This time around, you'll have a oh, nice. rank for each mode. Dude! That is what they actually needed, like legitimately they needed, because like just getting that random rotation and just of a, like a really bad rainmaker, a really bad split, bad splat zone, sucked hard. Oh, dude, league battle, nice! Dude, dude, that is what you've been needing all along. Now, now, now I get get my squid boys on. I'm gonna have to like tell my friends about this, like legit. Cause like I it's so hard to actually make a whole team of four. At least for me. It's pretty cool. Now oh well, if it isn't merch, the sea urchin. What? Talk to this guy and take your gear from fresh to freshest. Depending on the ability, oh, yeah, does the thing. you can reduce your ink consumption or move a bit faster. You see, oh, you get, gear have different kinds of abilities. You can legit just buy the abilities. No Some randomizing. For Some for clothing. Oh, dude. 
that's a game changer right there for a lot of people. Because legitimately enough, it's it's hard to get those random rerolls. This ability allows you to track distant players that you've hit with your main weapon. That could real help. I like the thermal link. Object shredder ability increases damage dealt to all non-player targets. Quick respawn reduces your respawn time if you get splatted repeatedly without splatting anyone yourself. Yeah, quick respawn the way that it is now. The change is so, like, it's needed because quick respawn is so broken in and tower. Punisher increases respawn time. And the special gauge spawn penalty for you and any player who spots you. Oh, dude. Now that's going to be broken. People are going to want that more. I'm going to tell you that right now. Legit. And the drop roller oh, wait, no. It, it's, it's for both people. Super jump to perform a forward or sideways roll when you land. Oh, dang, dude. That's a game changer right there. I can't on camp the on the, those things. Check out the other player's gear on the map screen. Gear abilities present many unique challenges, so it pays to study not only your gear, but the competitions as well. Yeah, it looks like a lot of returns. Remember, merch can add or remove gear abilities. On just, like, legit, you can purchase everything right away. That's, it's ridiculous how game-changing that is. Now, for the job everyone's been talking about. Oh, no. I have some new information that I'm happy to share. I am really happy about this, by the way. Says, it's easy work with good pay. Work together as a team of four to splat salmonids and collect their power eggs. Apparently, this is the place that's hiring. Looks kind of shady, if you ask me. Yes, it do. They're not always hiring, though. They're only open when oh. the salmonids are on the move. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. I, heard some I mean, I get it, but still, you know? Book. It's all about salmonids, which I'm all about studying. It sure helped out back at the lab, especially when studying dangerous boss salmonids. <coughs> ah, the steel eel. These salmonids block your path with their Dude. long bodies and lay down ink wherever they oh go. God. Those things are creepy as heck. Use jetpacks to hover while firing squid-seeking missiles. Oh snap, dude! Like these salmon things are like way more than like zombos. Like legit, somehow they're creepier and yet not at the same time. And I'm liking that Splatoon is getting the zombie run, like, legitimately. And every time I see more things about it, like, legit, dude, like, whoa! It's like a full boss rush with, like, extra things, you know? And so, too, does the water level heal. Stay on guard when fall hits. Salmonids will attack from all sides. As night falls, ferocious salmonids will rush you with incredible speed. Oh, my God. That's scary. That's the scary bit right there. No, no, mama, no. It certainly is dangerous work. However, special rewards make it more than worth the trouble. Some items can only be earned in salmon runs. They may open up new possibilities in battles. So, why not give it a go? Next, I'll detail a new service in Splatoon 2 that will help you stay in touch with Inkopolis, even when you're not near your console. Yeah, this is kind of dumb. Say hello to Splatnet 2, a service that puts information such as stage schedules, gear, and stats at your fingertips. Oh, that is cool, though. All that little stuff right there for, like, an app. That is cool. Like, having that, because I remember, uh, In Splatnet 2, shoot, it was a Splatoon website. They did, like, a, like a rotation a schedule thing. We'll so that's actually have an app that does that. You can also look at your win rates for specific modes and stages, helping you to analyze and improve your game. Oh, nice. You can also view your lifetime inkage. So it's kind of like over sumo for Overwatch, world places. but like actually official. So I do like that. And for you gearheads out there, there's also a separate Splatnet shop that allows you to send gear to merch in Inkopolis Square. Oh, we'll, dude. Uh, keep it in the back for you. So it's like, so it's like a little extra mini thing, like a little mini shop. Splatnet 2 will be available to use via a smart device app called Nintendo Switch Online. The Nintendo huh. Switch Online app allows you to invite other players who also have the game to join private battles, league battles, Splatfest battles, and communicate with those players using voice chat. When using voice chat, you'll automatically be split into your in-game teams, so you can talk specifically to teammates. Give it well, a go. Well, that's pretty cool. 
it just kind of sucks that it's just like you have to do it by the phone. Because if they mention that I don't have to do it by the phone, that'd be pretty great. You're but that's not what fresh, I'm hearing. As Inkling say, so oh, I dude. feel you should be in the know. Check out this equip menu. I was looking Here up at the, the, the gray silver. Separately for TV and handheld mode. And there's that's also good. a handy sword feature. Sword things too. Next on my list, we got the amiibos. Amiibo figures. You can Please tell me more than just gear and weapon loadout. And Please tell me more than just amiibo. Then you just tap that amiibo on any. Nintendo I want to do things console, like with, with other Nintendo amiibos, so I could get stuff or something. That'd be pretty dang cool. That's what I want. What's more, you can also get exclusive gear from amiibo, or strike a pose and snap a photo with them. Brand new Splatoon 2 series amiibo will be available. They're looking pretty fresh, man. Like legit, the dude. Original Splatoon series amiibo figures are compatible as well. And think we have the majority of them. Feeling artsy? If Maybe you artsy. Your fresh drawings here, they Yay! We can still do it! And in the dude! They still have that feature, yes! Too. Science truly dude. is Squid's best friend. Anyone that played the original Splatoon, also, food. like, you'll Including see, like, how much people are creative points. and everything. Munch and it's just super stuff, cool. And you'll get more points and money from battles. Is this guy feeding us his young? Oh my god. That reminds me. Oh, the game corner. Here at the Shoal, yeah. you can play locally with friends using their own Nintendo Switch console. Oh, I like and this. You get to pick any Dude. mode or stage you want. You can host a salmon run. At the Shoal will likely use wireless multiplayer. But for more serious competitions, land play is also possible. I That's almost good. forgot to mention that the Inkling music scene is flourishing. You can play Squid Ooh. Beats 2 and time your button presses to the beat. Dude! It's like a tire for Splatoon. I like it this. This is really cool. This is pretty dang cool, honestly. Like, it's a little mini game. I love the little mini games like this. This is a single player. Yeah, boy. Notice this manhole or a uh, squid hole in the plaza? It leads to the home of the Octarians, arch nemeses of the Inklings. Venturing here will put your prowess to the test. Stand alone against a multitude of challenges and an army of menacing Octarians. Like honestly, like it's also a great place to learn the battle basics. I'm liking all these new innovations they're doing. Different weapons into battle. Oh, like Wowzy Zally. It's like I said before, the single player for the first Splatoon, actually pretty good. If you're able to find Splatoon, like the first one for like ten dollars on the Wii U, I suggest getting it if you have a Wii U. Um, if you like Splatoon, uh, two at the very least, because like both single players, pretty great. Well, we've seen some fresh weapons, gear, okay. and stages today. But what more can science offer us? Yeah, what more? Please, some please. Content updates. I need my fix. Where's my fix? Weapons are in development. Dude, umbrella! Say hello to the umbrella. The umbrella! Much like an umbrella, uh, it offers both beauty and functionality. Press and hold I the might be an umbrella main. It's like Kirby, dude! And just like Kirby, it looks like and the OP the weapon. Holding down the button, you can even do this. Oh, dude! Get hype for the umbrella! I'm very happy that they're actually bringing that in. Plus, new special weapons Oh, yeah, the bubble blower. I swear they've they sh they shown this before. Oh, dude, that's scary. And, of course, new gear, too. Fashion oh, yeah. is a fickle beast, after all. Over time, more stages Ooh, will become available as well. Ooh, we get a ship. Over at the lab, we're crazy excited to calculate the many ways... I am very happy that the they game. do do this, though. Where, like, they just, like, gear and stage tons of, like, updates. Like, y'all, Splatoon will definitely, like, have, like, more. Stay fresh. Oh, ice cream versus yogurt, I guess? Ah, uh, but what is a Splatfest, anyway? Yep. Splatfest is straight up doing it. Even better than me. Pick a side. Have split players into two sides and pit them against each other in oh, cake is better than ice cream. For a limited time. No, ice cream is better. Splatfest has a polarizing theme. Leading players with one object to pick a side and compete to win in turf war. May the freshest team win. And for the first time, you can fight alongside your friends on the same team. Oh, nice. We can do it for the hive. All these stuff is just like, it's improving drastically on the original Splatoon. 
which already had a winning formula in all honesty. You go, so I'm just, I'm very happy for this. Video for you. I don't know how or why it exists, and yet, here it is. Mm hmm? Yeah. Is Mary going solo? What is that about? Marina? She is a cutie! And this pearl? Dude, I'm in love with Marina. Look how cute she is! This is fresh! She is seriously cute. I'm in love with her! She's like a better Callie, cause like freaking look at the octopus hair! I don't know, dude! God dang, that music's so fresh. How do they do the freshness? I don't get it at all. Butter? Oh, dude, they do the thing! Oh, coming at you live! I love her! Uh oh. 715? Wait! That's before it, right? Yeah, dude, like it is! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm, I'm cheering up a bit. Here's the theme. Freaking nice cream broskies! I'll see you there! Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome back to this! I don't know, I just... And Marina! I'm just... I'm sorry, there's too many cutes. <coughs> don't get cooked, stay off the hook! So, the question is... Are you a cake connoisseur? Or an ice cream aficionado? Both the freshest the demo on and the most ironically stupid. Choose your side and help prove your dessert of choice is the oh best. Oh my god. On July 15th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. I like this, PM. I just this do. One week before the game launches. Thanks for watching. But that was that was awesome hype. Freaking Splatoon 2, dude. I'm like, I'm hype, hype, hype. So, oh! so <laughs> I mean, it doesn't take much to impress me when it comes to Splatoon, because I already fell in love with the game concept and whatnot. Um, I don't think there's enough information here for people that already didn't like Splatoon to be like, I'll get Splatoon 2 for sure. But for people that are like me and are like Splatoon has some grievances, but I don't care. I like the game. Like, it, they're being addressed. Aside from online chat being kind of like stuck with this app thingy, like, I'm fine with it. And honestly, I'm pretty dang hyped. And I hope to see you all in the next Splatfest because freaking cake is garbo in comparison to ice cream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.